So you could look at your game monopoly, the version we know, as your capitalist system. You could look at, uh, as I showed in my last video, the land um, landlord's game as your, your socialism system. Um, and really, the problem here is, first of all, socialism... It's only a springboard to communism because it never, it, it always is. It's, it's the, it's the, the government run this, the government run that, the government runs everything, and it's to lure you in. Like uh, currently, that the example to use is National Nurses United has been using this to lure a bunch of nurses in, and nurses are falling for it. Like even if they're not in that union, there's these unions going on in states where they're not supposed to have unions, but they have the people. They've gotten people in there to get nurses to you know, do a union, even though they're in a state where you're not supposed to be doing, I don't know, it's confusing, but, um, and you try to tell these nurses, it's like, no, you, you're, those people that are helping you are working with the hospitals, the, the, they are, because it serves them, and then it's, it's first of all, I don't know why people want to be disempowered, it, you, you, when you join a union, you're disempowering yourself, because you, you have the ability to advocate for yourself, but as long as the union is your babysitter, and that's what your UN, those unsustainable development goals want, part of all of that is um, is everybody to be in a union. Because once they can get everything unionized, then um, it serves the already wealthy. Um, capitalism, in the best way I can describe this, anybody who's paid attention or has, if you remember what your healthcare system used to be like, um, 25, 30 years ago, you had different healthcare systems. But when I started seeing them merge, I, it was very obvious to me what was going to happen. It was going to destroy it because th how capitalism works is you're competing. And when you're competing, then that hospital is going to want to have the most staff, the best um, reviews, the best equipment. So they're going to make sure they have the best staff, the best equipment. Um, they're not going to cut corners because they have to compete with that other hospital. And they, if they do better than them, then everybody's going to hear that and then go to the better hospital. But when you get your Northwesterns and many others that then merge and they buy out all these hospitals, then they don't have to do that anymore. They don't have to provide the best staff. They don't have to provide staff at all. They don't have to have the best equipment, which is why much of our healthcare system in many places is operating like a third world country. While National Nurses United, the people at that organization and your nursing associations all put, and your nursing credentialing board push this damn uh, uh, government run healthcare, which will be horrible for this country. But they, 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 that's why it's like don't I, I don't care how much how, how many degrees the magnet people have, they have no common sense. Um, you, you, the minute everything started merging is is when the corporations got control. The cor the heads of the hospitals, the CEOs of the hospitals, they have more power and money. But clearly, then they have more power than anybody in D.C. They do. Because they own the people in D.C. They own your Marjorie Taylor. They own all of them. And all they do there in D.C. is they, they play theater for you. Mar Marjorie Taylor Greene's going to walk through the Capitol with a white balloon to show, oh, it's just a white balloon. It's like, stop doing all your grandstanding, uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene or AOC. And, and like, just get some action steps done, huh? But see, they can't because they're owned. They're owned. The corporations is really what's controlling everything. That's why there's no, there's nothing um, any of them could do. I mean, this is why lobbyists, the healthcare system sent all these socialist lobbyists forever now, and they slowly have infiltrated and infected, and they 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 got a bunch of politicians to sell out, sell out because they they gave them a bunch of money. So, um. You don't, you're not under a capitalist system anymore when you have all of your hospitals in a state merged into pretty much one. So that's why when I call the hospital CEOs criminals, they are, because our constitution comes before their bullshit. It does. The, um, these are people that, just like the World Economic Forum and the UN, they, they have an addiction to money. So they're not right in their head. They have an addiction to money. 
People at the World Economic Forum, even some of your hospital CEOs, they have so much money, yet think of the audacity every time you've, if you've ever worked in a hospital, you've had to listen to a hospital CEO sit there and tell you about their budgets, our budgets. And it's like, no, you always give your guys' selves 35% uh, raises, right, Northwestern? So... I, I, I think everybody that worked in the hospital after like a year of having to hear about budgets was just like, you know, you don't, you can't fix anything. You want to say to us to stop complaining while all we have to do is listen to you complain about your budgets. Uh huh. But this, this served them because that they want to fall apart. They want to appear like they're falling apart. Gov could because it helps, and that's why National Nurses and United works with them. They push the government run health care. Then it's guaranteed income. We have to pay them. That's why get why do you want to pay a union for anything? Why? You should want to keep more of your money. It's always these people wanting to take your money. So a capitalist system can work to where people are competing and it's a fair game. The problem is is there's too many people that sell out. There's too many dishonest people and more importantly, there's too many people that have an addiction to money. So just like I said the other night with um, uh, alcohol, it's like the bottomless pit, really, because I said it's a bucket, right? And at the bottom of the bucket is just, uh, there's nothing there. It's empty. There's just a hole. And so you keep filling it with alcohol or you keep filling it with money. And so it, you're just going to be sick in your mind because you're trying to fill this emptiness that really uh, the true cure is a, you know it's a spiritual condition um so that's what everybody at the world economic forum they, they have a ment they have a sickness all every hospital ceo in this country has a, a mind sickness because they're they're in love with money they, they're obsessed with it they it's not enough for them to have enough money they can buy countries but they need more of it because what goes hand in hand with money power power and control, controlling um, justice systems, controlling politicians, controlling um, industries, controlling people. And then you can get out there and you can think you've got it all in the bag, but really you're just a sick, twisted, demented person because you're not addressing what your sickness is and what your sickness is is having a, a negative impact on the rest of the world. The World Economic Forum is having a negative impact on the world and not because of how they are being highlighted to others, but because of the, who they are themselves, because they don't address their own sickness and love for money. There's nothing wrong with money and having a lot of it. But I think it's like what the Bible said, is that if God blesses you with a lot of money, then he expects you to then in turn give that money back to others. That's what AA says, actually, too. Not about money, but about alcoholism. And when you get to the 12th step, it's, it's about giving it back. It's about if you want to keep it, you better, be, you better give it away. If you want to keep sobriety, you have to give it away. Go help somebody else. It's a good thing to do, too, when you're really, you know, feeling all like a pity party moment. Let's go help somebody else. Um, but that's what it is. It's, it's so it's the, and, and, and AA, that 12th step, um, go, you know, give it away to help others. That's from the Bible. So that's what God wanted people with money to do was go on, you know, if I bless you with money, go and give it to others. Would you ever see anybody at the World Economic Forum do that hospital CEO? No, they won't even give their employees raises. Okay. They bring in Magnet and all these different tools just to find ways to not give people a raise. They bring in, un they create uh, bad working conditions so they can get a union in there to pull you in. And then that union that's working with that hospital will control you more. So uh, that's ultimately the problem. It's not, it's not switching to a different system because capitalism can work. But it never can work if you have people that are, have um, a, such a sickness in their mind and an addiction to money that they never can, uh, they never will look at themselves and stop their, stop their continued tyranny. And it takes not having people in DC and Babylon um, selling out to lobbyists of healthcare systems, lobbyists of the science. We really should just get rid of lobbyists. Then the uh, politicians in Washington would start working for the people. Instead, sadly to say, they work for lobbyists, which is why the corporation is truly uh, who has the power here. And um, that power is a sick one because they themselves 
are sick in their mind with money.